Hey everyone, Redza here and welcome back to another episode of Ichimi. Coming up, a sneak peek at DJI's first flagship store in Malaysia, with a number of DJI devices at discounted prices. Also on today's episode, Digi begins to shut down its 3G network. I'll let you know their full schedule to keep you up to date. Alright, so without further ado, let's get right into the news! If you're planning to head to Pavilion Kuala Lumpur this Sunday, you can visit DJI's first flagship store at level 5. There are other DJI branded stores, but this is the first flagship store in Malaysia launched by DJI themselves. Devices like the Action 2, Mavic 3, Air 2S, as well as the Mini SE and OM 4SE can be found there. Meanwhile, in front of the store, there's a drone testing enclosure where you can see the drones in action. DJI will also offer a promotion in conjunction with their grand opening at 10 a.m. 28th of November. Their first 50 customers will be able to get discounted prices. The DJI Tello will be 399, the OM4 will be 379, the Mini SE will be 1199, and the FPV combo will be 4299 ringgit. On top of that, DJI Malaysia is also offering a snap and win contest. To join, just snap a picture of the DJI flagship store and post it on your social media with the hashtags DJI Grand Opening and hashtag DJI Pavilion. If you do, you'll stand to win one of 10 mystery prizes. They also have other retail stores, but they're planning to open another one in Wanutama PJ in December, complete with a service center too. The AirAsia Super App just launched AirAsia Express, their delivery service similar to Lalamove and Grab Express. Express can provide both instant and same-day delivery. Currently, it'll cover cities within Klang Valley, as well as Johor Bahru, Kota Bahru, Penang, Ipoh, and Kota Kinabalu. Right now, you can only request to deliver within the same city, but they say that intercity, interstate, and international deliveries will be available soon. To use Express, just download the AirAsia app and tap on the Express button. One gripe I have about this app is that the confirm button just says continue, which can lead to accidentally placing deliveries when you're not ready. It also doesn't help that you can't cancel your order until they find a driver, which can take more than five minutes. Apart from that, the Express service seems promising. Compared to Lala Move and Grab Express, the pricing on Express is cheaper in almost every situation. Bike deliveries start at four ringgit and car deliveries start at six ringgit with the price increasing with the range. We now have the pricing details for the Huawei Watch GT3 and GT Runner. Let me catch you up on these two products. The Watch GT Runner is, surprise surprise, a watch for runners. The GT Runner has a floating antenna design, which provides faster and more accurate positioning. The watch also provides heart rate monitoring, almost as reliable as a proper chest strap. It also supports magnetic charging. The Watch GT3 on the other hand has a more classic watch look compared to the GT Runner. It has two variants, there's a 42mm and a 46mm version available. The larger of the two has a 1.43 inch AMOLED screen just like the GT Runner, while the smaller has a 1.32 inch AMOLED display. Battery wise, the larger one will last you 14 days of use, while the smaller one will only last you 7. If you're interested in these watches, here are the prices. The Watch GT Runner will go for 1399 ringgit. Next, let's go through the GT3 pricings. The 46mm with a black strap will cost you 999 ringgit. The 46mm with a leather strap will cost you 1099 ringgit. The 42mm with a black strap will cost you 999 ringgit. And the 42mm with a leather strap will cost you 1099 ringgit. The GT3 can be pre ordered until the 3rd of December, while the GT Runner can be pre ordered until the 12th of December. If you do pre order one of Huawei's new smartwatches, you'll get some freebies too, including a pair of Huawei FreeBuds 3i and Huawei Scale 3 worth 548 ringgit for Huawei GT Runner pre-orders. Those who opt for a 42mm GT3 meanwhile will get an instant rebate of 200 ringgit and pre-orders for the 46mm GT3 will get a pair of Huawei Free Lace headphones worth 379 ringgit. Digi is powering down their 3G network. Digi users on older 3G devices are reminded to switch to newer 4G LTE devices. Digi will begin its 3D shutdown in eastern states in peninsular Malaysia, such as Kelantan, Pahang, and Terengganu on the 6th of December 2021. This is followed by Sabah on the 13th of December, and then southern states such as Johor, Malacca, and Negris Milan on the 16th of December. The shutdown will continue in northern states such as Kedah, Pera, Perlis, and Penang on the 20th of December before proceeding to the Kelang Valley. Selangor, Kuala Lumpur, and Putrajaya on the 22nd of December 2021. Sarawak will be the last state of the shutdown on the 30th of December. Users of 3G devices can still be connected to 2G after the 3G shutdown, 
While 2G can be used for basic calls and SMS, it's barely usable for internet services today. Want to check if your phone and SIM is 4G ready? Digi customers can text 4G to 28282 to check. To check if your SIM card is 4G ready, you can text LTE to 20000. All right, that's it for me today. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to Soichin Chow, follow our TikTok, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.